My name is Chris Cabrera, and I am part of a global ocean climate and conservation movement to protect the blue planet that all of us depend on. Our oceans cover 70% of this planet. This is planet ocean, and they provide every other breath of air that we take. No matter where that we live, we depend on the ocean for survival, and it's time that we start acting like it. As a seasoned professional working with nonprofits to build coalition, redistribute power, advocate for policies that can change intergenerational action on oceans, and working with communities to share their stories, I am here to help and bolster support and capacity within this movement. As we address the future of what it looks like to save our oceans, spaces like conferences in working with other governments and communities around the world will become a central role to build relationships that allow us to learn from one another. I serve the communities of Hawaii as a person passionate in redistributing advocacy and decision-making power to the local coastal communities that will face the devastating consequences of our inaction. In the United States, 40% of our communities live on coastlines. We are on the front lines of the climate crisis and the interconnection between the ocean crisis, the climate crisis, and the biodiversity crisis is unignorable now. It is time that we rise to the occasion with a groundswell of action that is no longer in echo chambers. At this point, we need three main actions to protect our ocean. One, women need to play a larger role in leadership positions. Right now, less than a quarter of leadership positions in the marine science field are held by women. Yet the research shows that when women hold leadership positions, everyone benefits. Two, coastal communities, local communities, and indigenous voices must be paving the way for the implementation of conservation measures across islands, across regions, across countries, and across the world. The solutions to the ocean climate crisis are old. We know them. We must center the voices that have those answers within them, and we must listen to them and implement them. And third, we need to execute the bridge between talking about action and facilitating action on the ground level. In spaces like this, there are commitments and announcements that give us a hopeful future for the ocean, but the action must follow suit, and it's up to us to keep those leaders accountable. In the United States, we have had tremendous progress on paper around ocean conservation through the Ocean Justice Strategy, through the Ocean Climate Action Plan, through Justice 40, and yet the operationalization of these strategies must take a center stage now because we cannot wait. Right now, coral reefs are facing devastating losses across the entire world, and we are the ones who will bear the brunt of the consequences. Our work can no longer be done in silos. It must be done hand in hand, working together, just like it's done in nature. And the final call to action is that we need to tell more stories to bring everyone into the ocean conservation movement. We must not stay in the echo chamber anymore. We must learn from each other. And through storytelling, media, personal voices, and on-the-ground solutions, we can build a bridge to hope, action, inspiration, and the creativity of the ideas that we need for ocean conservation. Together, we can achieve what is necessary to safeguard our blue planet, and we need to act like our life depends on it, because it does.